Welcome back into Talking Fitchburg. Joining me this afternoon is Catherine Schneider. She's from the Fitchburg Historical Society. Welcome back to another year. Or, well, first, welcome back to Talking Fitchburg. And then say welcome back for another year. Thank Glad you, to Charlie. have you guys. Thank you so much. Yes, we're excited about the year ahead for the Fitchburg Historical Society. And we're, we've celebrated our 30th anniversary as a, an historical society last year, and we're 50 members strong. So we're feeling like we're just uh, ready to push into this new year and enjoy the uh, exciting events that are ahead of us. We also are very grateful for being headquartered at the Fitchburg Public Library on the second floor where our office is um, in the Fitchburg room and we have our archives located there for anyone who would like to access them. They're open to the public upon request. Um, so for the coming year, what's going on? Um, hey, look at that. She's staying <laughs> over the interview. Well, well, let me tell you what's going on, Catherine. We're doing this, this, and this. Actually, uh, we uh, we had such a fun year last year. Uh, we're able to get out some really fun stories. We got a lot planned. For, well, we're working on our plans. I can't really say we have a lot planned, but we've got we got stuff in the works. But you guys have a lot of stuff in the works this upcoming year. Uh, there's some traditions that you guys have. Mm -hmm. um, websites are rocking, and 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 you're part of Talking Fitchburg, which is awesome. But uh, Catherine. And uh, what, what are some of the things we can get excited for uh, at the Historical Society? Well, the Historical Society has spring and fall meetings that are, um, actually, we have a speaker come in and talk about some topic that would be really um, interesting for the general community. So this spring, in April, we're working on a program uh, actually having to do with the business community, Ooh. which is so important for Fitchburg and I think important for people to know how much business has to do with uh, where people are located in terms of jobs and housing and transportation schools, all of those things are impacted by businesses. So I think very important to hear from the business community what's going on, what, what their thoughts are in terms of where they're moving into the future, and for Fitchburg residents to stay current on what's going on and the impact because the face of Fitchburg in many ways is, is determined by the business community. Absolutely. I think we've had that. Well, I think back to, I think about your mural every time I think of historical uh, sighting, thinking some of those businesses on went road, but uh, also that uh, technology, you know, that Fitchburg has been full of technology and science. And so, uh, and then you, you still surround uh, other great businesses as well. So it would be a really hot topic, I think, for, <laughs> uh, for, for you guys to share out. So look Thank forward you. to that. We're looking forward to it too. And then, uh, just wanted to talk a little bit about our website because that's probably our most far-reaching project and ongoing and we want to continue to make it accessible and user-friendly and and uh, something that we feel people will use uh, frequently. So um, we have um, the um, website is updated regularly. We already have lots of photos um, our videos and um, interviews that have been done on there, <clears throat> um, family histories, et cetera, et cetera. So the latest thing that was added were um, some pictures from the Kinney family, which are one of the pioneer original Ooh. early families here mm -hmm. in Fitchburg. So those are new to check out for people. Um, and I just wanted to say that we're always looking for photos, historical photos that people might have of either their families or churches, businesses, events that have gone on, because we want to add to our collection and make that as, um, as complete as possible to represent Fitchburg. So um, just a, a plug to uh, invite people <laughs> to do that, uh, contact us with anything they might have to add to our collection. Um, then to say that some of the images on the website um, uh, are also available through our database in our office. So, for instance, if someone has a picture that they see uh, that they would like to have maybe made in a higher resolution with a little more clarity and they want to have their own copy, they're welcome to come to the office, uh, contact us, and we will make for a very nominal fee that picture or copy available. And I was just on the website this morning, um, uh, fitchburghistory.com, and um, I was seeing a picture of my uncle, Gerald Dunn, who farmed on Seminole Highway um, all of his life. And I was thinking if I wanted to make uh, a copy of that picture, I could have that done through the Historical Society. So just know that that's one of our services that we have available. Um, also, the um, uh, the uh, website has um, the obituaries, and I know that Ellen Treva, our president, has spoken about that on Talking Fitchburg, too. But they also have references to the place of uh, the um, graves, uh, grave sites where those are located, and then um, 
the names of all the people in the obituary are also on file on our website. So it's really a complete website, uh, for, particularly for the obituaries. I think it's a very strong uh, website available for genealogists. And then, could I talk about what we're doing together? <laughs> well, I mean, <laughs> if you got to, I, I got can't it. stop you. <laughs> well, we have a new initiative this year in um, with Fact TV, and of course, Fact TV has an extensive um, collection of videos taken of all the city council meetings, cover other government meetings. Um, different events that have happened around the city through the years, and those have been collecting and collecting. <laughs> so uh, Back TV, Jeremy and crew have come to Fitchburg Historical Society to ask if we could collaborate on choosing which one of those videos uh, of, of that collection, from that collection, videos that we feel are have strong historical significance, go through those, sort them out, um, and then um, put them into our database in the Fitchburg Historical Society and also store the ones we feel have that strong um, interest for people historically. So that's uh, a major project that we're entering into this year also. It, yeah, I mean, it, it's a great collaboration. I mean, it, it was fun to talk a little bit about how to preserve, you know, I think the big question, what what's the future look like for, for preserving or what will we be preserving? And I think it is... I think it is video and so it's going to be a it's a good partnership there um and yeah it'll be nice for people to be able to find more you know visuals of of our history here in Fitchburg yes and then just to mention that reminds me Jeremy to mention that um we do have our database in our office so you know if someone's looking for something in particular that has to do with Fitchburg history just contact us and see if we can look through our database if you don't find it on the website see if we might have it in our database or as I said, we can have um, copies made available for people of things they might find on the website and like to have personally. I like it. I like it. So anyway, and just two reminders about our display case, which is up on the second floor outside the Fitchburg room that gets changed usually about quarterly. So lots of interesting topics uh, historically about Fitchburg that are there. And then you mentioned our mural, which is also in the Fitchburg room. which My is <laughs> Yeah, it's a, it's a really neat mural. If you haven't seen it, if anyone, I'd recommend it highly. Come in and take a look about what Fitchburg uh, looked like in the early 1900s um, and how we have changed, how we have <laughs> changed in that time, in that uh, over 100 years ago now. But it reminds us of where we've been. And then I think it helps, um, when we look back at our history, it helps inform us as to maybe decisions being made into how we want to look in the future. So mm -hmm. important to key, always keep that historical perspective. Absolutely. Yeah. Great. If you haven't been into the to your guys' area there in the library, I mean, you guys do a really great job. The mural's awesome. There's some, uh, there's a display, ca uh, display case in the, the room itself, too, yes. uh, that you guys have some stuff uh, displaying. And then, of course, the ongoing display on the outside. Just nice. I know uh, when we first developed the show, we went over there. Uh, uh, Preston and I went over. We were looking for information to share. We were going through all the newspapers of looking at back at some of the dates and finding things. And um, there's just so much fun. If you're into history, I mean, why not uh, Why not head over to the Historical Society here in Fitchburg and find out? And the website is just awesome. I mean, that you can tell the work has been spent. Uh, Alan and everybody, that's you guys are doing a good job. So, Thanks. yeah, looking forward to working with you again this year. And, uh, yeah, got to get over there. You got to got to get involved. You need any volunteers? Let's do a volunteer drive. Let's get you a, Absolutely. get you some help. So, <laughs> either way, there that is Catherine uh, uh, from a uh, historical society, Fitchburg Historical Society. Stop in, say hey, and uh, looking forward to another great year. Thanks so much, Jeremy, for having us. All right, uh, we will uh, wrap up the show. You are watching Talking Fitchburg. <laughs>